Okay. I'd just like to say a few things uh, about Guy Valvano, which is, is my cousin, of course. And uh, Guy has been around a long time and, and worked very hard at, at the position that, he's in, that he has been in, 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 in sports, and very active over the years. And uh, it, it is a tribute. And uh, I, I like Tony uh, very, very much. And uh, we're all here tonight to to uh, celebrate this testimony of poor guy uh, for a tremendous job that he did, and, and I thank you for it. It gives me a great honor to be here this evening to honor such a wonderful cousin as Guy Valvano, who's been an inspiration to our family and to his many friends who have come here to pay tribute to our beloved Tony. May God bless you and keep you all the days of your life and continued success from all of us here, Tony. God bless you and we all love you. Light. Okay. Guy Valvano, wish you a lot of luck and good health. And I hope you and I can enjoy having a big time when we're 110 years old. And good, God bless you and your family. You deserve this affair tonight. <laughs> Are you singing? Mayor? Congratulations, Guy. It's a long time coming. You did a great job. This is a well deserving affair for. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Over, over, over. Put it here. This is a well-deserving affair for a gentleman well-deserving of the affair. Man is an outstanding gentleman. Wish him all the luck in the world. Congratulations, Guy. Hi, Guy. This is the neighbor's table. Congratulations and best wishes for everything. Well, we're here tonight to honor Guy, who has been a neighbor of this table. We have about 12 from Swartz Street. And we have had some wonderful times in the past with parties every year. And we have only fond memories and love for Guy Valvano. And also his wife and children, because they are so, they're, they're really a great family. One of the best that we've ever seen. And we really love our Swartz Street neighbors. Okay? <laughs> Okay, uh, Isabel Butler and Larry Butler. We live right across from Tony and Marie, and they have been one of the best neighbors anyone would ever want. Thank you. It's certainly a pleasure for me to be here among this more than 500 people to honor one great sports writer, Guy Valvano. Throughout the years, I have written, uh, witnessed many of his articles in the paper, and he's always been one great gentleman. <laughs> We're so happy to honor Mr. Sports of Northeastern Pennsylvania. Everything good about sports was always reported by our wonderful writer, Mr. Valvano. We're so happy everybody's here to honor him tonight. The sports world won't be the same in Scranton since he's retired. Good luck, Guy. Okay. Guy, congratulations. It's a wonderful evening. And just seeing this crowd shows what a great personality and wonderful person you've been all your life. Our best to you. I remember Guy when he first started. He also took obituary for me in many, many cases. I'm glad to be here this evening for a tribute to Guy Valvano, a fellow who I've known for an awful lot of years. He and his lovely family uh, have been just tremendous. I've enjoyed working with Guy and knowing his family over the years. I'm glad to see so many people turn out this evening, and I wish he and his family nothing but the best. He's been a very good friend of the Mescos for as long as I can remember. This is Joe Mesco Sr. Joe. Guy, from us to you, we can't think of a more deserving person that should be honored. And when you see the crowd and this guy films this outfit that's here, you know darn well this is the night of your life. 
Well deserved. You know these two guys next to me. I think they'll echo anything I ever said about you. You never said a negative word about a person in all your life. And I know the way you treated my family and my kids and me. Thank you very much and God bless you. Guy, with everything that everything that should be said was said last Wednesday night. And uh, I have to echo what Bob said. You're one of the fairest sports writers that I've ever known, and you've been good to me right down through the years. And this is a long time coming and well-deserved. Good luck and have a happy future. Thank you. Guy, I'm going back to 1964 when I was on your payroll up in Russell Park for $5 a night. It's the first real job I ever had. But also, I'd like to say, after 25 years officiating, you were the best friend an official in Northeastern Pennsylvania ever had. Lots of luck to you. On behalf of the Doherty family, Guy, I'd like to congratulate you on uh, 45 great years in the sports world. And uh, on behalf of all the athletes that I coached at Dunmore High School and uh, the consideration you gave me when you were uh, writing the sports at the Tribune, uh, you did a great job. And uh, the thing I really appreciated was the fact that you always promoted kids that were uh, not in the star, start and feel all the time, not in the spotlight. And uh, you covered those extremely well. And for that, we're very thankful. Have a great retirement. And all we have to do is keep Marie off the Manhattans. Guy, it sure is a pleasure to be here. Of all the things I remember in sports is your fairness. And of all the years I coached, you always had the kids in mind. There probably was no one in my 36 years in this business that was as fair and as honest and as decent as you. I hope you enjoy your retirement because beyond a doubt, you were the greatest. Well, I'm here with some friends of Guy Volvano, one of the finest gentlemen that I've ever met in my life in sports. And he's a person, Bob Gilbride, my good friend George Wilson, Jerry Murray, Jerry Kudajewski, uh, Mr. Finan, and uh, Mr. Mahoney, of course. And we're all happy to be part of this uh, festive occasion, and we wish Guy Volvano the best. Where's the Red Law? I see it now. Well, Guy, I wish you a lot of luck in all these years coming up, you and your wife, the best. And thank you very much for all you've done for me through the years. Wish Guy a lot of luck in his retirement. Retirement is beautiful. I'm enjoying it myself. The guy had a very successful career, 45 years. It's a long time to work. Time to throw the sponge in and get settled down and do a little golfing. Thank you, Guy. I wish you a lot of luck, Guy. Guy, best of luck. Keep keep hitting hard. On behalf of Carbondale, we'd like to wish him a good uh, good party tonight and best of luck in retirement. Thanks. Best of luck, Guy. I can't believe you retired before Przelski. Best of luck, Guy. This is Mike. Thank you for all the kind words you've had to say for me all the years. I really appreciate it. You've done a lot for me. Thanks, Guy. Good luck. Tony, they're all saying nice things about you, but I know the truth. <laughs> I remember when you wouldn't come out of the game, you had 32 pitches in a row, and you wouldn't come out. And I remember you fed me bologna sandwiches for supper. Now you can go to hell. Wait for the red light. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Tommy. Tommy. No, you're just talking there. Good luck to you, honey. You were a good boy. Good man. Everybody knows you. God bless you. Got to be with you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the very best to someone I've known for 40 years. May God love you for at least 40 more years. Take care and God love you. I've known a uh, guy, I think, all my life, and I don't think I could have found a better gentleman or a sports uh, writer. And I think he was a big help to the people of Dunmore, and I wish him all the luck and success on his retirement. My name is Tom Cummings. I've known Guy Volvano since grade school, Lincoln School, Charlie Gallagher's College in Dunmore. And uh, I met him in, I think it was the fourth grade. And he's known to me as Tony. And I can tell you this, of all the people I've ever known, I never knew anyone who was more dedicated to his profession than Guy Volvano. 
and it's a delight to be here this evening with 580 guests honoring a very, very dear friend. Thank you very much. Pap! Congratulations! Congratulations, Pap! And have a good time tonight. Here, do you want to go get my father? Guy, congratulations on your big night. Uh, we hope you enjoy it. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, you being around for a long time in the world of sports, supporting the Lady Bucks. I have Mr. Smith along with me who would like to give you some congratulations also. Congratulations. Best of luck. Thank you. Congratulations, Dad. Uh, this is a tribute that you definitely deserve, as Jenna will kind of I already, I already said come you say in. Something? Okay. You definitely deserve it, Dad. This is wonderful. And Sharon wants to say a couple words. No, I don't. Yes, she does. No, I don't. No. Say something no, about Pat. Diane. Go ahead. No, here, take it. I don't. Sharon's shy all of a sudden, but I'm going to stop talking now, okay? <laughs> no, wait for Guy. Guy, we wish you the best of luck. We certainly do. Best of luck, Guy. But I have to say one thing. Behind you is the success. Marie Bevelac Velvano. Good luck, Guy, and God bless you. Oh, we're only doing this because he's the best guy in the world, that's all. Good luck, Tony. It's been a long time, we're friends. Lots of luck. My name is Sal Russo. I'm 63 years old. Since first grade in Lincoln School, his name was Antony. We graduated from high school, his name was Antony. He had a nickname, his name was Pecker. And then he got an education, they call him Guy Valvano. Same guy, but he'd be always Pecker in my heart. Terrific turnout here for Guy Valvano. He deserves it. Sports writer for a great many years, and he touched all the bases and he covered all the bases. And uh, he really deserves this affair. Thank you. Well, Guy Valvano is a great human being. He was a great person when my dad was uh, coaching. He did so many things for our family. We can never thank him tonight, uh, so much tonight, and it's just a great tribute to him. He comes from a great family, has a wonderful wife, wonderful children, and I hope that God blesses him for many, many years to come. Thank you very much. All right, Tony. The red light is on, right, Tony? I want to say to Tony, from from Pecker to Tony to Guy, I've been with him all these years. God love him. May the Lord be good to him and his family. This is a well-deserved affair. Thank you very much. Jack, you want an interview? Guy, you're the best. Thanks a lot for everything you did for American Legion Baseball. I also want to thank you for everything you did for me when I played in high school. And I also played American Legion Baseball in my umpiring career. Guy, you're the best. Thank you. Okay, Guy, thanks a lot for everything you've done for me, my family, and American Legion Baseball. Uh, just thanks a lot. You did a super job and delivering me another person like you. Thank you very much. Guy, congratulations on your retirement. I really appreciated that Bucktown Twilight League that you formed back in the old days. Thank you very much. I knew Guy when he was a small boy. Came a long way, done a fine job. I want to wish him all the luck. Thank you. Enjoy it. Now, Guy Valvano is one of the nicest gentlemen you'd ever want to meet. The Christian neighbor and friend. It's a pleasure I, to be here. <laughs> I think he's terrific, Joe. <laughs> Hi, Guy. Lots of luck to you and your wife in the future. You did a hell of a job in the newspaper, and I wish a lot of luck all this world. Thank you. Hi, Guy. Lots of luck. You deserve it. You're great people. We're awful glad to be here. Hi, Guy. Lots of luck and success in your retirement. Hope you and Marie have a lot of fun. <laughs> Good luck, Guy. Is this going all around? Good luck, Guy. Best of luck, Guy. 
hope you enjoy your retirement. Congratulate you, Guy, for the wonderful sports you gave to the Dumbo Aggies Bowling League. Thank you very much. wonderful uh, cousin in the name of Guy Valvano, who has been a gem to us for many, many, many years. May God bless him in all the years to come. Okay, Jenny, your turn. Okay, here's Terry. <laughs> Congratulations, Dad. We love you. <laughs> I said so. Congratulations, Dad. I just want to say how proud we are of you. Thank you. Hi, Pop. Congratulations. We love you. <laughs> Anybody that don't belong to the head table, scram. <laughs> I'm very proud of, uh, to be on the committee with Guy. He's helped me for so many years that they, they say one hand washes the other. So uh, we're very happy to have over 600 here tonight, and thank you to everybody that's coming out. And we'll be here. I get me. <laughs> oh, you ready? Congratulations on uh, a long and distinguished career, and you've done very well for the students and the athletes at Dumber High School. We thank you very much. Good luck to you. Okay. <laughs> Guy, we wish you for the best of luck in retirement. You know my feelings to you. I don't have to say any more than that. Tremendous tribute to a very well-deserving Guy Volvano. I've known him all my life, and I think he's real worthy of this honor. The way Guy has been a personal friend of his for many years. Spent many a night sitting at a basketball game with him, and it's really a great tribute to a great man. And he really deserves everything he's getting tonight. Thank you very much. Adel is one of the real humanitarians in sports writing and in the sports world. Uh, as a, I think this crowd could attest to what he's, he's done through the years. And with all due respect to Guy Volvano, he's the best in his field. It's good luck and good health. Guy, congratulations and lots of luck. Uh, honoring him tonight, really wonderful. Great guy. Good luck and congratulations, Guy. Guy, I'm one of your older friends. Good luck. Congratulations. Guy, you were the best. You're an end of an era. Guy, thanks for all your coverage and uh, good luck. Guy, as your sign says over there, 45 years of greatness. Not great stories, greatness. You're the best. 
I'd just like to congratulate Guy and tell him a special thank you for all the kindnesses he gave me during the years I was golf coach at Scranton Prep. Guy, thank you very much. If it wasn't for Guy Bovano, I wouldn't be here, and I want to thank you, Guy, and the reason I'm saying that, Guy was the guy who got me an opportunity to go to college when I was playing in the Big 33 game. And he's been good to me and my family ever since, and I'm, I'm glad I can be here to his testimonial. He's a great man, and I'll never forget him. Guy Volvano is one of the real gentlemen in our community. Guy, it's a pleasure to know you. Congratulations. Well, I think the attendance speaks for itself. In all the years I've known Guy, he's never really knocked anybody in sports, and he was always uh, very on the positive side. And it's a great affair for him. Steve Weisberger, I want to wish you the best in all, all the remaining 100 years, and thanks for everything you've done for me and the Penn State Club. Thank you. No, I don't want to say Congratulations to Guy Volvano. Me being a coach for the past 20 years in the area, Guy was always looked forward to as a guy who never let any of the kids down. I, I'm proud to be associated with him. To Guy and his beautiful wife from Peg and Joe McDonald, we want to wish you the best of everything. You've been a wonderful person, a good parent, good grandparent, and a very good sports writer. And thank God for all of that. Jack Waltz from Carbondale, Pennsylvania. Good friend to Guy, and Guy's been a good friend to me. Always a gentleman every time I contact him. Thank you. Congratulations and best wishes to Guy Valvano. Thank you. Best of luck, Guy. Pass the mic around. Congratulations, Guy. Congratulations, best wishes. Same here, guy. Another 45 years, guy. Congratulations, guy. No, that way. I Valvano. Tony. On behalf of the committee, Tonight's testimonial honoring Guy Valvano, I extend to each and every one of you a warm welcome and our sincerest gratitude and appreciation for your presence here tonight. Personally, I would like to thank and express my appreciation to the committee members who worked so hard and diligently to make this evening possible. My thanks goes out to Al Williams, Gary Arico, Dee Desuris, Tom Cummings, Lou Gatto, and Al Frioni. And a special thanks goes out to Marie Valvano. Thank you. And now I'd like to call upon Jenna Machaco. Yeah. 
our teeth. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to call upon Guy's grandchildren to lead us in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And would you please remain standing for the invocation by Monsignor Anthony Tito, <coughs> pastor of St. Anthony of Padua Church, Dunmore, Pennsylvania. to extend my sincere congratulations on, on behalf of the Dunmore School District to Guy Volvano, who is a class act in every sense of the word. Guy has done more for our school and the students in our school than any single individual. On a personal note, I would like to extend to his family and to Guy best of luck in their future, and I want to thank him for all the wonderful things that he's done for me and my family over the year. Guy, we're going to miss you, but we know you'll always be there for the next three or four years in the gym rooting for your family. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I just want to, I just want to say that, 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 Guy, you certainly deserve this night. You're welcome to, dish to any sports writing staff. And uh, I just hope that someday uh, we can sit down and really talk the way we've done in the past. And the guidance that you've given me, uh, I certainly appreciate it. Uh, I know the schools and District 2 have certainly learned a little bit from what you have done and how you have helped us. You're a wonderful fella. You deserve this. Uh, luck to you and your family. God bless. Guy Valvano, the greatest of all sports writers in District 2, in fact, Pennsylvania and the United States. It was a pleasure to know him and to serve with him. Good luck, Guy. Again? <laughs> Guy, once again, we're sitting at the table. My heartfelt congratulations to you. Someday when we're together alone. I want you to explain to me where you got the name Guy because guys should be spelled in all capital letters. You're one of the greatest guys a person could ever want to meet. Coach Kelly. Well, Guy, I'm a little upset over the reservations here at the table. I'm not happy with the guy on my right or the guy on my left, but obviously I do want to offer my congratulations. I want to thank you for everything you did for the Dunmore High School basketball program. You've been very, very kind and probably went a little bit overboard as far as helping some of our kids. With, I can think of times when we called you asking for a little bit of guidance, pick some of these spirits up. You were always there for us, and it was greatly appreciated. Thank you, Guy. And good luck in your retirement. One of the greatest men that was ever in the field of sports and sports writing, Guy Valvano was the best. Congratulations, Guy. Love you. Mr. Valvano, uh, thank, uh, congratulations on a fine career, and uh, thank you very much from the Hartshorn family. 
Okay. Okay. Say, so, Guy, congratulations. It's been a pleasure working with you all these years. And uh, if you want me to go back to Tunkhannock to take another picture next year of the tennis banquet, just let me know anytime. Good luck, pal. Guy, remember the old days with the number six Comets? Who had the best team in the in the old Bucktown League? Was it number six, buddy? Hey, you went a long way since those good old school days when you were writing on blank sheets of paper. You went a long way. Congratulations and best of luck to you. Thank you. Okay, now. I just want to say congratulations to Guy. I wish him a lot of luck. Mr. Sakai. You know, it's a pleasure to be here tonight. I've known uh, Guy uh, since his early days with the Tribune, and tonight is a great tribute. But it's not surprising because so many people in the community love and respect Guy. It's good to be here. Very good. Pass the mic around. Pass the mic around. Guy, remember when we went to Syracuse to the football game and it, and Guy, uh, Don Rita told Johnny he belongs in England because he should drive on the other side of the road? I'm going to say to Guy, Guy, do you remember when I had the softball team and we won that trophy and I told you we lost the trophy in the fire and we were supposed to get a duplicate made? I, shall I say who I am? I'm Tom Cali. Do you remember, Guy? You were the greatest sports writer in, uh, in, in Lackawanna County. It was good to have you at that time. I ran the basketball team, the softball team. What else did I have? But that's it. But, Guy, you were terrific. Here's what I want to say to Guy. I want to congratulate him. He's done a terrific job, and the Georgias appreciate everything he has done for them. Good luck. Okay. All right, Mr. Levano, congratulations. Uh, I thank you for the pictures you sent me when uh, when I was a little shit at the caddy tournament. I was about 12 years old. I appreciate that, and uh, good luck in your retirement. And uh, thanks for everything you've done for me in the past. Good luck. And at this time, it is my honor and pleasure to introduce to you our Toastmaster for this evening's program in which we will pay tribute to a really nice guy, Guy Valvano. <laughs> our Toastmaster is a career politician who is noted for his malarkey and his gift of gab. He has served as Toastmaster for many affairs and different occasions, and he possesses, he possesses a wit and a tremendous sense of humor. He has served as Pennsylvania State Representative for the 113th District for the last 11 years, and hopes to do so for a long time to come, and cannot imagine doing anything else, especially working for a living, He is a former professional baseball player in the Houston and Detroit farm systems and is the proud father of five daughters. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time it is my pleasure to introduce to you our Toastmaster for this evening, State Representative from the 113th District, Gaynor Cawley. Thank you, Frank. I hate people who tell the truth about politicians. <laughs> well, you've all heard the expression, the worst is yet to come. And here I am. <laughs> First of all, I want to uh, seriously, I don't think I deserve that beautiful round of applause, but what's my opinion against 600 wonderful people? <laughs> <laughs> Let me, we have a long program, uh, but we know that uh, that's why we have Guy last, because we know that everyone here is Guy's very, very good friend. But we have a continental breakfast at 2 o'clock. <laughs> so hang on. <laughs> First of all, ladies and gentlemen, let me uh, introduce our head table. On my left, Monsignor Anthony Tito. Monsignor Tito. Thank you. 
Mr. Al Williams. I don't know if you know this, Al is Ted's brother. Ted Williams' his brother. Uh, Ted Williams' his sister-in-law, Mrs. Betty Williams. She's also my aunt. <laughs> Marie Valvano, Marie. And our honoree, Guy Valvano. On my right, Mayor Joseph Dominic. Mayor Dominic. Our principal speaker, Connie Ocianzi. Representative Fred Bellardi. Senator Robert Mello. And this evening's chairman, Mr. Frank Cochuara. First, let me apologize for uh, the uh, group that's going to present us with some entertainment tonight for them not being on the program. We now present the Dunmore Community Chorus. They have been together for over 30 years. They were founded by the late Margaret Gillespie. They are now under the direction of Miss Gloria Fendrick. Narration, narrator is Ann Silvano. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dunmore Community Chorus. in this great testimonial for Dunmore's own well-known sports writer, editor, and columnist, Guy Valvano. We hope to entertain you with several musical selections. And now to begin, let us first pay tribute to our great country, wherein evenings like this are possible. Please join us in singing America the Beautiful.
as apple pie. If this is so, then our next selection falls in that category. We offer at this time an old American classic and an all-time favorite, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. The chorus invites you to join in on the second chorus, please.
have many elected officials from Dunmore, Scranton, and Lackawanna County. Will those elected officials please stand up and be recognized so that we can give you all a round of applause. that stood up was at your special delivery job. <laughs> I would have stood up myself, but uh, I'm on the way to Leavenworth. <laughs> Speaking of Edgar, who was a major league baseball player, he beat the St. Louis Browns, I know that, when he was an amateur. He played in the NFL. And this is a true story about the late Freddie Battaglia. We had it, we, every year we have a reunion down the ball field over at the Oxford Platte, which is named after Freddie now. And uh, Edgar uh, came down, this is only about two years ago, and Freddie was at that time 87 years old. And uh, we had an old timers game. And Edgar went out on the mound, and he wanted the rosin. He wanted uh, to make sure that uh, John Balasari and the gang were there for the pictures. Uh, he had his uniform on, of course. Had the, the spikes on and the socks and everything. And uh, uh, they asked Freddie to come up the bat, Freddie Battaglia. So Freddie, God bless his soul, he was only about five foot five, and he weighed about 91 pounds. And again, as I mentioned, he was 87 years old. I carried the bat up for him to the plate. And uh, <laughs> Freddie gets up to the plate, and I'm standing there saying, oh, this is so wonderful and everything. Edgar winds up and throws a bullet right behind poor Freddie's head. And Freddie hits the ground and ducks. And I ran out to the mound. And he says, Edgar, what are you, nuts? I said, that's an 87-year-old man up there. I said, my God, take it easy, will you please? You'll kill him. He said, that's why you never made it. You don't have any guts. When they hug the, p <laughs> when they hug the plate, dust them off. I don't care who they are, he says, right? That's why you'll always be in a little league, Collie. <laughs> he did. He said, I heard about you in the 100-yard dash. He said, you were, you were disqualified for skipping. <laughs> He's tough, isn't he, guy? <laughs> oh, dear. Let us have a warm welcome for a good friend of everyone in this room and a very good friend of Guy, the mayor of the borough of Dunmore, Mayor Joseph Dominic. Mayor Dominic. Mayor Dominic. 